Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be changing out this booster pump and it's the first one of its type that I've ever changed out, so we'll see how it goes. First off, we're going to go over here in the box, open it up, find the breaker, cut it off, and then we're going to come over here and pull this lovely screws out. As you can see, it got stuck by lightning, so everything right in there is deep fried. That's crazy. Yep. And then, except we're going to want to take this off. So how long have you been doing this, Ethan? I've been doing this for two years now. Two. So do you mostly do repairs or? Mostly do cleans. Do repairs occasionally, but we're the clean guy. Okay, so we take that off. That's not the right size either. We're gonna go with a flat. <laughs> Doesn't work. Man, this thing smells awful. So what'd you say happened to it? Got struck by lightning. Wow. Lightning. It's crazy. Your, you can even see where it melted the housing, like it bulged out. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. He fires through. Yeah. All right, let's get a rag. We'll be right back. Okay. Taking that off. And this motor is really hot, so try not to touch too much of it. New up. Huh? Over. I'm gonna get them all straight first. <laughs> Once you cost five years of your life, you go on to the next one. Good. And then take this plate off. Maybe you're gonna stick them in. Pull these out of the way. Take this, screw this back on. Make sure that's all the way in too. On the outside, that hole there. Oh, okay. And then you just spin it around, it creates a perfect loop for you. Okay. Doing all three of them. You see it comes pre-wired from the factory where they tested it. So we can take those two wires off. And then the green lug down here in the bottom. That's where our ground goes. And the other two will go right there. That's line one. Okay. So the diagram shows on 240 volt, L1 and L2, L1 and L2. So that means line one and line two coming from the power pole. This is power in, it also marked on the bottom, L1 and L2. If you need to change it to 110 volt, you slide this up and move it over, and then you follow the diagram for 110. But everything we're wiring is 220, so we're gonna put line one there, line two there, and ground down here on the bottom. As I pull the screw out, put this over where the screw goes, Again, this was closed, it's not easy. Screw in, screw down. You can just leave the screw in and put it around there, but it's a lot easier just to screw out and then put it where the screw goes and then screw it down. It saves you lots of time and effort. And, all right, Okay. so I dropped, I dropped the green screw, which is down here at the bottom. Not a great design. And it rolled underneath this white piece. Actually, I think I feel it. I just think that I feel it. But you can't leave it loose in there, right? No, you can't leave it in there because it might touch something, spark something, and then we're back here. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put something in and then have to redo it because I make a little mistake. I re loosen these pipes. It'd be really helpful if I could just see it. So you're taking this back apart? Because I made a little mistake. Sometimes you gotta, I'd rather do it right than break something while doing it. Because I could tilt it back. But it would break the pipe. So, but in this case, it's fine. I'm just gonna take this, take this back, tilt this forward. There it is. Yep. We're gonna grab it. Very careful. Okay, we'll put this back together now. Hopefully you didn't lose any of your screws, which mine fell off, which they're all in the same spot, so it's not too bad. This one, this one, and this 
So the booster pump's working and the cleaner's running. So that's a wrap. Turn it on. No leaks. Good to go. Don't forget to like. Oh, and then close the box. I closed the box. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>